welcome to our channel. My name is Margarita and this is my daughter, Angelica. And we are doing an unboxing today for Fairy Loot. And this is the, I believe, the November box. But we'll double check. It might be December, but I believe it's November. So Fairy Loot, what they do is they send in their box a YA new release fictional book along with several bookish items. So if you want to go ahead and get the sneak peek, we'll go ahead and get started. Woo -woo. All right, so it is the November box. Here is the spoiler card art. And the theme is enemies to lovers. That was some interesting squiggles. All right, so the first item this is what it looks like. There's a camera over here. No. And it goes like this. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. We'll have to look at the spoiler card for that. Want to see the next thing? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. And so it is a cloth bag. Lots of room inside. Absolutely beautiful. And it looks like maybe Jude and Cardin on it. All right. And what is the next item? I got all this grass on it. Okay. And this item is huge. We have another cloth item. Looks like maybe a scarf. It's beautiful. And it says, Come and gather a story is about to begin by Rosanne Brown. I don't know what book that is, but this is really pretty. I don't know how to fold scarves. Do you? I don't know. Do you know how to fold scarves? Literally. Take the scrunchie. Ooh! And here is a scrunchie. You're talking about like this? Yes! And it's silky and white, and it has some words on it. It says, but words will live as long as people can remember. Oh, it's kind of cut off there. Can remember them. Books are easily... Destroyed. Books are easily destroyed. Okay. So books are easily destroyed, but words can live as long as people can remember them. Nice. Okay. And we got some bookmarks. So this is Ash on one side. No, it's two different ones, I think. And then on this side is Megan. And then we have Roma and Juliet. All right. And then it's a sticky screen cleaner. Um, the theme is Angel Fall. So we have more bookmarks. I missed them. Oh, I go to them. So this is Reed and Lou. So this is Serpent and Dove. And then we have Ryzen and Farah. And I think that's a Court of Thorns and Roses. Ooh, tarot cards. So I think this 
is never night. So, um, gosh, what is her name? I've never read it. I know, it's Mia's girlfriend. Um, golly, I can't remember her name. And there is Trick. And then this isn't Nevernight. I don't know who that is. But he's the King of Swords. Ooh, and then the Page of Swords. How cute. Those are gorgeous. That's a cat in the box. A cat in the box. Is that it? That's everything? All right. So we have the fairy scoop. And then we have some more art. And then, of course, the letter from the author. And then it looks like an annotated chapter from the book, These Violent Delights. Very pretty. Okay. I don't think the cat fits, but it still sits. And then you want to show the book. Ooh, these violent delights. And then it has the pink pages. Gorgeous print. Pink. Print. <laughs> pink edges. Oh, it has a reversible packet. Boop. Oh, oh, I can't see if you can see this way a little. Ooh, that is pretty. That looks like 1920s. She's got like a flapper style book black dress. And Ooh, and it's signed. All right, so I'm going to read the synopsis really quickly. Something's touching my foot to read. Oh, we have one more bookmark, and it says, this year, uh, the year is 1926, and Shanghai hums to the tune of debauchery. A blood feud between two gangs runs the streets red, leaving the city in chaos. At the heart of it is 18-year-old Juliet Kai, a former flapper who has returned to assume her role as the proud heir of the Scarlet Gang. A network of criminals far above the law. Their only rivals in power are the White Flowers, who have fought the Scarlets for generations. And behind every move is their heir, Roma Montagov, Juliet's first love and first betrayal. When the gangsters on both sides show signs of instability, culminating in clawing their throats out, the people start to whisper. Of a contagion, a madness, a madness of a monster in the shadows. As the deaths stack up, Juliet and Roma must set their guns and grudges aside and work together. For if they can't stop the mayhem, then there will be no city left for either to rule. Wow, that sounds interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the spoiler card real quick or so like we can figure out what some of this stuff is. Are the cards like character cards, but like yeah. in uh, modern time? Yeah, so the one with Roma and Juliet, these are the characters from this book. And so, I was right. So the tote bag is Jude and Carden, and the art on that was by Rosie Thorns. And then we have the Literary Scrunchie, which is a quote from Shatter Me by Tahara Mothi. And then we have a bag hanger. Okay, so that little metal thing. I don't even know where it went. Oh, here it is. The bag hanger. Um, that is inspired by The Wrath and Dawn by Renee Adier. And that art design was done by Tara Taja. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any names. I'm really bad at that, but I'm going to put all the info in the links below. Um, the Bookish Scarf, that was a quote from A Song of Race and Ruin by Rosanne Brown, and the art was done by Jeez Hawk. 
And then we had the foiled bookmarks, which had Serpent and Dove by Shelby Moran. Uh, Marin. We had the Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. The Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. And then our book of the month, um, which was These Violet Delights. And that was by Chloe Gong. Uh, the art was done by Rokuso Art. And then we had the phone screen cleaner inspired by Angel Fall by Susan E. And that was done by Tara Taja. Uh, we had the page and Knight of Swords tarot cards for this month. The art was done by Arts28 and it was inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Max. And then of course we had the book The Violet Delights by Chloe Gong and the dust jacket, the reversible art was done by Mona Lima Arts and then the author letter was done by Lore Gal Art. Overall, I think it was a really nice box. My favorite item was the Jude and Carden bag. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What was your favorite? The scrunchie. The hair scrunchie. Okay. Well, let us know what your favorite item was in the box. Let us know in the comments below. We'd absolutely would love it if you like this video because it absolutely does help us. And please subscribe so you don't miss out on another one of our videos. Bye.